Good day everybody. I came across this question which has been developed or I should say made by another author and the question wants us to calculate the area of the triangle ABC. Now the author has adopted a different technique and I feel uh, that technique used is a little bit cumbersome, is a little bit long. So what I wish to do is I would like to give an alternate approach to this particular question. Now why is it important to learn this technique is because questions like this keeps occurring in competitive exams and in interviews and so on and so forth. So it becomes imperative that you learn how to solve this and that too in a faster manner. Now what I wish to do is I would like to use what is called as the sign rule. First you need to know what is a sign rule. It is a relationship that connects the angle with its opposing side. Okay, that is the simplest uh, simplest way to actually define the sine rule. So, it is actually a relationship between the angle and the opposing side. So, there is a connectivity between this angle and its opposing side, a connectivity between this angle and its opposite side, and this angle and its opposite side. Now, in briefly, suppose you have something of this fashion, say A, A, B, B, and C, and C. You can write this in this following fashion. This is angle A, this is angle B, this is angle C. So, I can write this as A over sine capital A is equal to B over sine capital B is equal to side C over sine capital C. So capital C, when I say capital C, I mean the angle over here. So this is what is called as the sine rule. Now you can take two at a time and solve and find out these sides. That is exactly what I'm going to do. So in this case, what I wish to do is I would like to take 18 divided by sine x, 18 divided by sine x, that's enough for me and I equate it with 30 divided by sine 2x. So this alone is sufficient for me to get the result. Now there is a trigonometric formula which states as follows sine 2 theta is equal to 2 times sine theta times cos theta. I'm going to utilize this formula. So I can rewrite sine 2x as 30 over 2 times sine x times cos x is equal to 18 over sine x. Clearly, sin x, sin x can be cancelled, giving me 18 is equal to 30. There is a 2 here, cross multiply that. And you have a cos x, you can also cross multiply that cos x. But for the time being, let us have that over here. So, this is nothing but 2 times 18 will give me 36. But in fact, I could have reduced this 30 itself. So, let me just do that now. So, 2 divides 30, 15 times. So, actually, what do I have? I can rewrite this in this fashion. Cos x is equal to 15 over 80. Now, 3 divides here 5 times, 3 divides here 6 times. So I get cos x uh, to be equal to 5 over 6. Now, let me divide 5 by 6. What do I get? This is going to be 0. I add a 0 here. 6 7s are 42. 6 8s are 48, so it's going to be 8 there. So 48, 2 remainder. Again, I add a 0. 6 3s are 18, 2, 0, 3, and it goes on like that. So I get cos x to be approximately equal to 0 0.833. Now we need to get the value of x. So x is actually equal to cos inverse of 0 0.833. Now you can use a calculator and find the value of cos inverse of 0 0.833. Now I will show you that value also. It is approximately, I'm going to take it as 33 point, you can round this up to 33.6. That's the value of x. Okay, so I've got the value of x. Now go back to the question. The question has got x here and 2x here and we need to know this angle. We need to know this angle. So we know that the sum of the angle is 180 degree. So to get angle B, all I need to do is from 180, I need to subtract 33.6 minus, this is 2 times x, 2 times of 33.6. So let us do that. 
So therefore, angle B is equal to 180 minus 33.6 minus 6 twos are 12, 1, 3 twos are 6, 7 and 3 twos are 6, so 67.2. So add up these two things, 33.6, 67.2, 8, 10, 1 and that's going to be 10, so 100.8. Zero, zero so from 180, we subtract 100.8. Zero, zero this will give me a 2 there and there is going to be a 9 here. So bring that 9 down and this is going to be 7. So the angle that we have got is 79.2. This is the angle that we have got. 79.2. Angle B is 79.2. Now you might be wondering why did I calculate the value of angle B? Now we got this triangle, right? This is the angle B. Now this is given to be as 18, this is given to be as 30. Now just flip this triangle. You will approximately end up in a triangle of this fashion, right? So this part which you see here will be my angle B and this is going to be my 18 and this is going to be my 30. Area of triangle ABC right is given by half into so all you need to do is just simply substitute the value so half into So if you were to use your calculator and evaluate, this would approximately be equal to 265.3. Since we are dealing with area, you add the term square units. So that is the solution for this question. Thank you.